Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20 Telly and today I'm going to show you how to create a ring group on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up-to-date system and stable modules as of the 11th of January 2023. So the first thing we're going to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you're presented with the dashboard page. I'm going to hover over the Applications tab, scroll down to Ring Groups, and click Add Ring Group. You're then presented with a page with different options to fill in. If you're not too sure what each option means, hover over the question mark and it will give you a brief description. So the first one is Ring Group Number. This is the number that you can ring internally if you have phones provisioned on the system. So I'm going to use 321. Group Description, so a brief description of your Ring Group. It might be in working hours, out of hours, mobile group. I'm going to use test. Extension list. So these are the numbers that you want to ring. They can be both internal and external. So if you've created an extension on the system, use the user quick select and select the extensions you want to ring. So I've got one here ready. I'm also going to use an external telephone number. When you do this, put a hash at the end. Ring strategy. If we click on the drop down, there's different options to choose from. So we'll hover over the question mark and it tells you what each one does. So ring all, it will ring all of the extensions all at the same time. Hunt, take turns ringing each available extension. Now this is a good one to use if you're in a small office and you're in close proximity to each other and you don't want all of the phones to ring all at the same time. You might want extension one to ring and then two and then three. We're going to leave this one as ring all for now. Ring time is the amount of seconds that you want the extensions to ring for. Bear in mind that if you're using a hunt style option, this is the amount of seconds that that extension is going to ring for before trying the next one. Announcement. So you might want a recording played before the extensions ring, something like, please note all calls are recorded. This is where you can then use the drop down to select your system recording. We haven't done anything yet, so we're just gonna leave that as none. We will do another video on how to create system recordings. Play music on hold. So do you want the caller to hear a normal ringing sound or do you want them to hear music? So this is where you can choose that option. CID name prefix. You can optionally prefix the caller ID name when ringing extensions in this group. This is really useful if you have different departments in the company. You might have sales and support and you want to know what option the caller pressed. So we can do this by putting sales in here and then on your phone, it will pop up with sales before the phone number so you know which department they're looking to speak to. We're not going to go through everything. So if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see change external CID configuration. It's currently set to default. What that means is when someone rings in, it's going to show their caller ID, so the number that they're calling from. This might not always be useful. If you have calls diverting to your mobile, and you want to know that it's a work call rather than a personal call, we can change the configuration to present the office number instead. So we're going to do this by using the drop down, clicking on fixed CID value, and then underneath, this is where we can put the office number. Remember the number needs to be genuine and in the correct international format, or it may get blocked by the networks carrying the call. So for the UK, it's 4-4, and I've put the office number in here. Just remember though, if you do this, you won't know the number of the person calling unless you log into the free PBX and view the CDR, which we will cover in another video. So underneath we have call recording. If we hover over the question mark, you can always record calls that come into this ring group by using force, never record them, you can click never, or allow the extension that answers to do on-demand recording Click don't care. So we'll leave it as don't care. And then finally, destination if no answer. So if no one's answered, what do we want it to do? You might want it to go to another ring group and ring another set of phones, or you might want it to go to voicemail. So today I'm just going to do terminate call and hang up. So if nobody answers, the call hangs up. 
and I think that's everything. So if you click submit, we've now created our ring group and to apply all changes, press the apply config button in the top right hand corner. So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Wow.